What if I told you that just 10 minutes a day could literally rewire your brain? Not in some vague motivational way, but in a real biological sense, reshaping the circuits inside your head that control how you think, feel, and act. For most of history, people believed the brain was fixed, like concrete that hardened once you reached adulthood. But modern neuroscience has revealed the opposite. Your brain is more like clay, flexible and ready to be molded throughout your entire life. This ability is called neuroplasticity, and it's the reason you can learn new skills, break old habits, and even recover from setbacks. In this video, we'll explore how something as small as 10 minutes of focused practice can set off a chain reaction of change inside your brain. And by the end, you'll see how those minutes, stacked day after day, can transform not just what you do, but who you are the science of neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity is your brain's ability to form new neural connections. Think of your brain as a network of trails. Every time you repeat a thought or action, you're walking down one of those trails. The more often you walk it, the clearer and wider the trail becomes. Eventually, it becomes a road, then a highway. Meanwhile, the paths you don't use slowly fade, becoming overgrown. Scientists summarize this with a simple phrase, Neurons that fire together, wire together. When you practice something, whether it's a physical skill like playing guitar or a mental habit like gratitude, your neurons are firing in a pattern. Each repetition strengthens the connection, making it easier for your brain to travel that path the next time. What makes neuroplasticity so powerful is that it's not limited to children. Adults, even seniors, can reshape their brains. It just takes focused, intentional effort. Why 10 minutes is enough? You might think lasting change requires hours of effort every day, but research shows that short, consistent practice sessions can be just as powerful, sometimes even more so. 10 minutes is enough to spark the process because the brain doesn't care how long you practice in one sitting. It cares about repetition, focus, and consistency. Think of it like watering a plant. You don't flood it once a month and expect it to grow. You water it a little every day, and over time, the roots take hold. 10 minutes of daily practice works the same way. The short sessions keep the neural circuits active, strengthening them until they become ingrained. The key is quality. 10 minutes of distraction-free practice, where you're fully engaged, beats an hour of half-hearted effort. Practical examples of brain rewiring. So how can you use this in your own life? Let's look at a few examples. If you're learning a language, spend 10 minutes practicing vocabulary or speaking aloud. Over weeks, those 10-minute bursts create strong pathways that make recalling words automatic. If you want to shift your mindset, dedicate 10 minutes to journaling. Writing down thoughts of gratitude or reframing challenges helps your brain wire itself toward positivity and resilience. If mental health is your focus, try 10 minutes of meditation. Studies show meditation changes brain regions related to stress, attention, and emotional regulation. And if you want physical improvement, like better coordination or strength, short skill-specific drills, 10 minutes of focused push-ups, balance exercises, or guitar finger work can trigger meaningful rewiring. Each example proves the same point. The size of the practice doesn't matter as much as the consistency. The role of attention and focus. One critical factor in rewiring your brain is attention. Multitasking weakens the effect of practice. If you're half scrolling on your phone while practicing piano, your brain isn't fully engaged and the neural connections remain weak. Deep practice, the kind where you're absorbed and slightly challenged, supercharges neuroplasticity. When your brain senses that something requires real effort, it tags those neural pathways as important and reinforces them more quickly. So when you sit down for your 10 minutes, eliminate distractions, close the door, silence your phone, and give your full focus. That simple shift magnifies the impact of every session. Obstacles and myths. Of course, there are obstacles. One common myth is that neuroplasticity only works for children. It's true that kids' brains are especially flexible, but adults can change too. In fact, neuroplasticity is now being used in stroke recovery, therapy for trauma, and skill training well into old age. Another myth is that you need hours of grinding practice to see results. 
In reality, long sessions can cause fatigue and reduce the quality of focus. 10 minutes of sharp practice is often more effective than an hour of going through the motions. The real challenge is breaking old pathways. If you've walked the same mental trail for years, like procrastination or negative self-talk, rewiring takes patience. The old path doesn't disappear overnight. You have to choose the new one repeatedly until it becomes stronger. That's why many people give up. The discomfort of rewiring feels like failure, when in reality, it's proof the process is working. Long-term impact of small daily practices. Now imagine where this leads over time. 10 minutes today may not feel like much, but stack those minutes day after day and the changes compound. Neural highways form where there were once faint trails. Skills that once seemed difficult become natural. Mindsets that once held you back are replaced by empowering defaults. Neuroplasticity doesn't just change what you can do, it changes who you are. You're not stuck with the habits, fears, or limitations you have now. Your brain is plastic, and every day you hold the tools to reshape it. Conclusion and call to action. So here's the takeaway. Your brain is always rewiring itself, and 10 minutes is all you need to start guiding that process. Whether it's learning, healing, or building resilience, those small pockets of practice are enough to set real change in motion. Pick one practice, just one, and commit to 10 minutes a day for the next week. Protect that time, focus deeply, and watch how quickly your brain begins to adapt. Because every time you practice, you're not just learning, you're rewiring who you are.